Star, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Sunday evening to you. Hopefully you were able to have a wonderful weekend. Our weather was really fairly quiet across the Arklamis through the weekend. Lots to talk about, though, with uh, respect to this week, so we're going to dive right into it. At least right now, though, we're not seeing any sort of shower or thunderstorm activity here in the Arklamis. Live storm tracker Doppler radar is quiet, but this will be changing as we head into our Monday as uh, moisture, at least from Marco, starts to uh, get its way into the Arklamis. So we have uh, quite a bit of Tropical storm watches, warnings, hurricane watches and warnings across uh, portions of the Louisiana coastline back in the Mississippi, Alabama and Florida. But here's kind of a larger picture of where both Marco and Laura are currently at. Again, Marco is the one that's closest to our area and at least poses the highest threat at the moment. But Laura is going to be the one that we really need to keep an eye out on as we head into the upcoming week here. So let's talk about Marco, at least right now, has been downgraded to a tropical storm as it gets its way a little bit closer to the uh, New Orleans region here, and that's where it's still expected to make landfall as uh, we head into our Monday. But right now, generally, it is looking like a tropical storm. At first, it was looking like it was going to be a hurricane making landfall, but at least uh, wind shear has been taking a large bite out of uh, Marco's thunder, or no pun intended here. But again, uh, that system not looking as much of a threat, at least here, the Arklamis, looking like a threat from mainly those coastal locations uh, in the Louisiana area. So kind of switching gears to Tropical Storm Laura. Again, a healthier convection, at least with this system, as it continues to push west. And notice a lot of it is out over the open ocean here. And that's helping to keep Laura at least kind of in uh, control or in check at the moment. And what is going to happen once it gets to the uh, Cuba Islands here and eventually into the Gulf of Mexico will determine what it happens here. So it looks like it's not going to be as strong making landfall, at least in Louisiana at this time. However, though, the latest track does take it right over the Arklamis as we get into the very late Wednesday through the day Thursday time frame. So this is still something that we really need to keep an eye out on. Details still very much subject to change. But it's ultimately what's going to happen here is what's going to determine what's going to happen here. So, again, uh, could be dealing with a fairly strong tropical storm here in the Arklamis as it makes landfall, considering uh, we have fairly ripe conditions for tropical development across the Gulf of Mexico here. Here's current sea surface temperatures. So you're noticing Marco really not having much of an effect, at least on cooling those sea surface temperatures. So, uh, again, something we still need to iron out. But flooding rainfall and, uh, again, potential for some severe weather if possible as uh, we head into the uh, next week time frame. Details still need to be ironed out. Could see some showers and thunderstorms starting as early as tomorrow afternoon and evening. And uh, here's Marco, at least the showers and thunderstorms that are expected with it. So again, uh, rain comes in later tomorrow and continues virtually staying here through much of the week. So quick look at the seven day forecast shows what we still have to look at. And again, it looks like the best chance for showers and thunderstorms comes for Wednesday into Thursday. Highs generally in the lower 90s during this time frame as well. And then deep moisture sticks around for the weekend and that will keep shower and, thunder shower and thunderstorm chances around. That's your forecast. More coming up after the break. You're watching NBC 10 News at 10.